proper length or rest length refers to the length of an object in the object's rest frame. The measurement of lengths is more complicated in the theory of relativity than in classical mechanics. In classical mechanics, lengths are measured based on the assumption that the locations of all points involved are measured simultaneously. But in the theory of relativity, the notion of simultaneity is dependent on the observer. A different term, proper distance, provides an invariant measure whose value is the same for all observers. Proper distance is analogous to proper time. The difference is that a proper distance is the square root of the space-time interval of two space-like separated events, while a proper time is the square root of the space-time interval of two time-like separated events. Proper length or rest length. The proper length or rest length of an object is the length of the object measured by an observer which is at rest relative to it, by applying standard measuring rods on the object. The measurement of the object's endpoints doesn't have to be simultaneous, since the endpoints are constantly at rest at the same positions in the object's rest frame, so it is independent of delta t. This length is thus given by, however, in relatively moving frames the object's endpoints have to be measured simultaneously, since they are constantly changing their position. The resulting length is shorter than the rest length, and is given by the formula for length contraction. In comparison, the invariant proper distance between two arbitrary events happening at the endpoints of the same object is given by, so delta sigma depends on delta t, whereas the object's rest length L0 can be measured independently of delta t. It follows that delta sigma and L0, measured at the endpoints of the same object, only agree with each other when the measurement events were simultaneous in the object's rest frame so that delta t is zero. As explained by Feingold, p. 407, note that the proper distance between two events is generally not the same as the proper length of an object whose endpoints happen to be, respectively coincident with these events. Consider a solid rod of constant proper length L0. If you are in the rest frame K0 of the rod and you want to measure its length, you can do it by first marking its endpoints. And it is not necessary that you mark them simultaneously in K0. You can mark one end now and the other end later in K0, and then quietly measure the distance between the marks. We can even consider such measurement as a possible operational definition of proper length. From the viewpoint of the experimental physics, the requirement that the marks be made simultaneously is redundant for a stationary object with constant shape and size, and can in this case be dropped from such definition. Since the rod is stationary in K0, the distance between the marks is the proper length of the rod regardless of the time lapse between the two markings. On the other hand, it is not the proper distance between the marking events if the marks are not made simultaneously in K0. Proper distance between two events in flat space. In special relativity, the proper distance between two space-like separated events is the distance between the two events as measured in an inertial frame of reference in which the events are simultaneous. In such a specific frame, the distance is given by where delta x, delta y, and delta z are differences in the linear, orthogonal, spatial coordinates of the two events. The definition can be given equivalently with respect to any inertial frame of reference by, where delta t is the difference in the temporal coordinates of the two events, and, C is the speed of light. The two formulae are equivalent because of the invariance of space-time intervals. And since delta t equals zero exactly when the events are simultaneous in the given frame, two events are space-like separated if and only if the above formula gives a real, non-zero value for delta sigma, proper distance along a path. The above formula for the proper distance between two events assumes that the space-time in which the two events occur is flat. Hence, the above formula cannot in general be used in general relativity, in which curved space-times are considered. It is, however, possible to define the proper distance along a path in any space-time, curved or flat.
In a flat space-time, the proper distance between two events is the proper distance along a straight path between the two events. In a curved space-time, there may be more than one straight path between two events. So the proper distance along a straight path between two events would not uniquely define the proper distance between the two events. Along an arbitrary space-like path P, the proper distance is given in tensor syntax by the line integral, where G mu nu is the metric tensor for the current space-time and coordinate mapping, and dx mu is the coordinate separation between neighboring events along the path P. In the equation above, the metric tensor is assumed to use the plus minus 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 metric signature, and is assumed to be normalized to return a time instead of a distance. The minus sign in the equation should be dropped with a metric tensor that instead uses the minus plus 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 metric signature. Also, the should be dropped with a metric tensor that is normalized to use a distance, or that uses geometrized units.